Good afternoon and welcome back to Exploration Place. I'm Daniel and we are here again with this week's STEM Face-Off Challenge. And we have two fantastic competitors. Of course, this week is all about our Volcanic Eruption Challenge for you folks at home. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But today we're playing everybody's favorite game, The Floor is Lava. Our contestants today, on my right, your left, is Miss Ivy. She's one of our fantastic educators. If you've uh, been checking out any of our cahoots, uh, well, she's in cahoots with that. And over here to my left is our visitor services manager. This is Miss Chelsea. And Miss Chelsea, you might remember her from our very first challenge, the egg drop challenge, where she did not have an excellent time. Um, sometimes these challenges aren't everything they're cracked up to be. But today, we are going to heat up the competition with the floor is lava. So right now, let's go take a look at some of the stuff that they're going to be using to come right over here. Their challenge is to fill these graduated cylinders with water up to the frost line. And they're each gonna be filling their own, their own cylinder with water. The water is located way over there. So look at all this lava. It hasn't been turned into lava yet, but it will. Uh, they will be starting in their own kiddie pool. They've got a cup, they've got water, and they've got these supplies. So as supplies, they've got three of these awesome foam mats. They've got a big roll of carpet, and the carpet has to be completely unfurled and flat in order for them to use it. So there might or might not be a problem with them getting to it. Just saying. So uh, with all that in mind, I'm gonna turn things over to Miss Victoria, and she's gonna share a little bit about our volcanic eruption challenge and all the details with it. Awesome. So this week, Art, we asked you guys to build a volcano out of found materials that you can find outside, like leaves and sticks and twigs and even mud, if you have any around. And then we asked you to fill it with different possible reactions. So some suggested reactions you could use are Diet Coke and Mentos, baking soda and vinegar, or even a little bit of hydrogen peroxide with baker's yeast and dish soap. So there's a lot of options for that and we've had some really great submissions. So we hope to see more of those submissions and have a really great contest to see who can win our first, second, and third place prizes. All right, back to Daniel. All right, thank you, Miss Victoria. Now, of course, today would not be a challenge if there weren't rules. So they have to fill up their two cylinders and, but, they're gonna be on the honor system. If they touch the lava, the floor is lava, if they touch it, they're going to be self-imposing a 10 second time delay where they have to stop in place because they touch the floor and then they can continue. Uh, and like we said, they have to, if they decide to use the carpet, they have to unknot it and untie it to be able to use it. So with all of those things in mind, wait just a second, Kim, you know how much fun we have with all this stuff? You can have just as much fun in our camps. They're for ages six and up, and we send the camp to you, and then you interact with our educators here in our building through Zoom, and we're even gonna have special guest speakers come in for a lunchtime speech each, or talk every day. So we're gonna have lots of different fun. Check that out on our website, exploration.org, uh, for more information about our camp in a box. But it is time for the challenge to get started. So we've got our two contestants. They look like they're ready. So we are going to count them in in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, all right. They are starting to build. Ivy is going for the carpet. Chelsea is going for the carpet. Looks like they're both starting to untie their carpets now. When I said there might not be any problems, well, there obviously is. I tied about 15 knots in each you one sure of those did. ropes. <laughs> So they're probably not my biggest fan right now. Hey. Oh. I know. What up? Yeah. So while they're working on this, um, it looks like they're both employing the same type of a strategy. Miss Chelsea stayed in her pool, but Miss Ivy is out. She brought one of her foam pieces so that she can do it. She has got one knot left. She is done untying. Chelsea is done untying. We are right now dead even so far. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> she loses the carpet. Don't you have to get that all the way, all yeah. the way spread out? Yeah. All right, fantastic. I didn't say 
how it had to be. I just said it had to be all the way up. Oh, you want to no. go upside down, then that's up to you. All right. You know, I got, I got an idea. What if we were to have a little auction? Yeah, an auction for something that might help you out. So the first person that's willing to give me 10 seconds of their time, we'll take this log and put it wherever you want it. Anybody want to buy into that? Somebody want to give me 10 seconds? And I'll put that log wherever you want it. OK, I will. Oh, Ivy's right on it. OK, so where would you like to put Ivy? Um, right there, connecting the last black piece. All right, right there. Oh, we've got some water being poured. She's got some water in her hand. This time, is it accuracy or is it speed? Oh, Miss oh. Chelsea is the winner with her <laughs> second cup of water. We have our winner for the day. Miss Chelsea, you have redeemed yourself for the challenge. Miss Ivy, you are a rookie yeah. and you will come back to fight it again another day because we have one of these every week and we're always looking for great competitors like you. So we had a lot of fun with this Flores Lava Challenge. We hope that you at home are going to have some fun building a backyard volcano, front yard volcano. Don't do it on the dining room table unless mom and dad say it's cool. But the bigger the better, the more interesting. Uh, if you can put in little figurines and make it like a, a horror movie, then so be it. But we're going to have a lot of fun. Make sure you get those entries into us tonight by 11.59 p.m. All right? Make sure you get those. You can either email them to us at discover at exploration.org or you can go to our Facebook page, look under the photos, and look for this. Easiest way to find it. Look for this picture, and then just submit it as a comment underneath on that Facebook post. But until next week, hopefully you'll find a hidden gem, and we will see you for our challenge next Wednesday.